Here's a quick video on my 1953 Scott Atwater Gold Pennant 7.5. This is a one year only motor. It was kind of a big deal for Scott Atwater. It was the first motor they made to have, a small motor they made, to have both a fuel pump and full gear shift and a twist grip throttle. Uh, so very modern motor. Um, Consumer Reports did an article on this engine in 1953 and named it not acceptable for various features. Um, some of them, I would say, were kind of, you know, maybe a little biased, and some of them were definitely true. One of the funnier of them was the tilt lock this motor has, which is kind of impressive, seeing as Johnson Avenue didn't have a tilt lock until the 80s, but in order to disengage it, you have to put your finger in here and push it this way. And they said the tilt lock was hazardous and could chop operators' fingers off. Um, Another cool feature is this knob right here acts as both the choke by pushing it in, the high speed needle by turning it, and if you turn it to zero and press it in, it will actually drain the float bowl on the carburetor directly overboard into the water. I have that disconnected on this motor um, for obvious reasons. And also they tend to leak and you get air in your carburetor where there shouldn't be and they don't run quite right. Um, here's the twist grip throttle again. These motors use a cable throttle linkage which tends to get stuck and then you won't be able to turn the throttle but there's not actually anything wrong with it. You just kind of have to force them a little bit. These motors actually run really well given, given all the problems people tend to have with Scott Atwaters. Um, this is before the Bailomatic, so these just have a standard metal impeller in the gear case. The 10 horsepowers have a rubber impeller, but the 7.5s have a metal one. The cowls tend to rattle on these motors. I haven't found a good way to fix that. Uh, it's a metal on metal seal right here, and there's not room to put a gasket in, so you just kind of have to deal with it. They use a Champion H10C spark plug. They run on a 16 to one gas oil mix. That's eight ounces of TCW3 oil per gallon. And they use Lubriplate 105 gear oil in the gear case. This is how this one runs. I'm running it on a little bit rich of a mixture right now, just because I haven't run this motor in probably a close to 12 years. So there's, there's the telltale. And it does have automatic anti flip up and reverse function to this collar down. Thank you very much. Have a good one.